Join us as we take the overnight sleeper train from Ho Chi Minh City to Da Nang as a family of four. I'll show you the cost of the tickets and do a cheeky tour as I know we all like a room tour here. The journey covers 1,000 kilometers of Vietnamese country and is a great way to see Vietnam and really make the most of every bit of the journey. I'll take you with us to see whether taking the train was worth it, some important things to remember and really helpful tips when traveling Vietnam with kids. And the best thing about the sleeper train as a family of four is we get the travel and the overnight accommodation in one ticket. So we're going to actually sleep on the train, um, get on in Ho Chi Minh, sleep overnight and arrive in Hoi An the next morning. So that's one night's accommodation for free, which is really cool. Okay, so we're at the train station now. Uh, we kind of don't really know what's going on. Um, we've got help from a porter guy who's been really helpful, but no, there's nothing in English. Everything's in Vietnamese, obviously. Um, so we're just going to head through now. The North-South Railway route of Vietnam was voted by Lonely Planet as one of the world's eighth most incredible train journeys, where you can admire vibrant cities, awesome countryside, and see houses up so close to the track you wonder how they sleep. And best of all, you sleep on the train to time travel to your next destination. Okay, we're on our sleeper train. And getting on the train was pretty stressful, to be honest with you. Um, it's not been that cheap actually booking this train, so we thought um, it would be a bit different how it is, but everything's fine. Um, there is no English signs anywhere, it's completely all Vietnamese, so it's been difficult translating and trying to understand where to go, what time, so we had a porter come and get all our bags onto a trolley for us, which was really nice. We weren't sure if we were to tip him or not, because um, tipping isn't really customary in Vietnam, but we had some money to tip him, but when we went to give it to him, it wasn't enough, so he was um, sort of really angry about the tip that we'd given him. Um, there was a bit of a commotion on the train station platform where everyone was looking and waiting and we didn't know what to do. So it was pretty stressful, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All done. All yeah. It's good. But all done and the last thing we wanted to do was to be rude to the porter because we didn't understand that what we'd offered him was too little amount of money. Um, so yeah, it was a bit embarrassing really. And um, we did have other tourists kind of saying, God, it's only three quid, just give him the money. But it wasn't about that. I think it was more we just didn't realize. Um, so yeah, Porter's paid. We're on the train. And we think it's the right one. We think it's the right one. Um, we'll let you know. But I'll do a little tour of the train and sort of a breakdown of costs, how much it's cost um, to take this journey. And yeah, so time for coffee. Oh. Thank God. Okay, so we've all had our coffees now, feeling a lot less stressed because it was pretty stressful, that to be fair. Um, put some lipstick on. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, this is it. It's time to get settled on the train to Da Nang, which should take us. It's three o'clock now, so in the afternoon, so it should take us till about seven in the morning, I think we get in. Um, and then we'll be in Da Nang, and then from Da Nang, we're gonna probably get a taxi, a grab to Hoi So we've actually brought our food on the train with us. We got recommended a really good banh mi place in Ho Chi Minh City by uh, the hotel guy that we really like. So we bought the food in, but at the train station, there is loads of places that you can buy your food, really well priced and it all looks really nice. And there's also food that you can buy on the train itself. So we didn't really need to bring the food, but we wanted to be, pre be prepared just in case.
we are booked on one to go asia a website where you can put your destination and your arrival area and it will come up with all the suggestions of public transport options our go to website for travel planning in asia to book trains buses ferries and flights across the whole of asia first of all you put your destination in the top and then choose your dates and it will come up with all the options available for that particular date we traveled as a family of 4 that's 3 adults and 1 child you can see it pulls up all the different options planes trains and buses if you go to the top of the screen you can filter your search by transport go to the top to transport type and select trains and it'll come up with all the trains available on that particular date just makes things easier down the side you can see all the different times It does seem to be that the three o'clock, the fifteen hundred time train seems to be the cheapest, but not on this particular date for some reason. But that's why we went for the three o'clock one. If you select the train you want and ask it to show you the options, it will show you all the available seating options for that train. We've got second class, we've got second class sleeper, we've got first class sleeper, and we've got a tab cabin with two. But if you look on the side, the cabin for two isn't available, and we do find that on most of the trains, there's not many of these two berth cabins that are available. So if you're travelling as a solo traveller or a couple, always look out for that. You might have to book the four sleeper cabin and book it out if you if you don't want other people in there. I point out that the second class seats are literally just seats like you'd get on a bus or a train. So you have to think about this. You'll be sat upright for 19 hours. Luckily for us, we're a family of four, so we had the cabin all to ourselves. Yay! A few things to look out for. If you are booking the four the four berth cabin, be aware that you might be placed with two other people in there. If that is the case, we recommend choosing the bottom bunk so that you have a table and plug adapters to to use. But bear in mind the people on the top bunk will have to climb down to your bed to get down to the toilet, etc. Another thing to point out, it's sometimes cheaper to fly, but be aware the flight prices don't include your baggage. So, once you've added all your baggage on, these flight costs can really spiral. So, it looked on paper that the flights were going to be cheaper, but once we added all our baggage on, they were way more expensive than the train. Plus, we got these amazing views. Everything crazy. Me, what? Yes, very.